Proper delivery procedures are also important. Always turn the unit off before opening the doors. If the unit is running, the evaporator fans or blowers will blow cold air out of the trailer and draw warm, humid air in. The moist air increases frost buildup on the evaporator coils and moisture or ice buildup on the ceiling, walls, floor, and load. Limit door openings and the amount of time the door is open to control temperature gain and increases in humidity. If a door must be open for an extended period of time, cold curtains will help keep cold air in and warm air out. Never tie back the cold curtains. Restart the unit as soon as the doors are closed. Some units may be equipped with optional door switches. These switches automatically turn the zone off any time the door is opened. The optional remote control panel is located just inside the trailer door and is used to operate the unit from the rear of the trailer. The display is similar to that shown on the microprocessor and the icons mean the same thing. The standard display of box temperature and set point is also the same as the unit display and cycles the same way. The zone on and off keys allow each zone to be turned on or off. If zone one is turned off at the remote control panel while the unit is running, the unit will shut down even though the zone one host switch is still on and all zones will show off in both displays since the host unit is not running. If zone one is on and zone two or three is turned off, only that zone turned off will cease operation and the displays for that zone will both show off. The microprocessor can be programmed so that if zone one is turned off at the remote control panel, all other zones that were on will show standby instead of off. This serves as a reminder that these zones are being prevented from operating because zone one is turned off. To change the set point for a zone, press the on key for that zone even if it is already on. This will change the display to show that zone. Now press the up or down arrow keys as required to change the zone set point. When the desired set point is shown, press the enter key to load the new set point. As with the host unit, if the enter key is not pressed, the set point will not be changed. Double check to be sure the set point is set correctly for each zone. Some loads may require a single temperature in the entire trailer. With TC units, remove the bulkheads and operate only zone one. Leave the other zones turned off. Set the desired pre-cool set point on zone one. To operate a TCI unit with a single trailer temperature above 35 degrees Fahrenheit, remove the bulkheads and run only zone one. Adjust the zone one set point to the desired pre-cool temperature and leave the other zones off. To operate a TCI unit and single trailer temperatures below 35 degrees Fahrenheit, turn all the zones on and set them all to the same pre-cool temperature. To operate DE2 units with a single temperature in the trailer, turn zone 1 and zone 2 both on and set both zones for the same pre-cool temperature. Use the same procedure with the DE3, but remove the Zone 3 bulkheads and leave Zone 3 turned off. In order to ensure that perishables arrive at their destination in peak condition, follow these simple rules. Know the capabilities of your system. Always pre-cool the trailer before loading. When loading, shut down the zone before opening the door or removing the bulkhead. 
Always load product at or very close to the set point temperature of the zone it is to be carried in. Provide ample circulation paths over, behind, under, and around the load. To protect the quantity of products on both sides of the bulkheads, be sure the bulkheads are securely in place and that no air leaks exist. Check that the set points are properly set for each compartment. When making deliveries, always shut the zone or unit off before opening the doors and minimize the door open time. Following these simple rules will allow you to effectively play your part in delivering high quality perishables at multiple temperatures. Thermoking has met the challenge of providing cost-effective quality systems for the transport and delivery of fresh and frozen perishables in the same trailers.